Hi guys, it's Rani from Rani's Playground here and today I'm going to show you how to create glowing text and reflective balls in Cinema 4D. So I'm going to start off with a floor. There we go. If I do anything that you're unsure about, don't worry, I'm going to do a tutorial soon that will cover the basics and I'll add a link to that in the description below. I'm going to pop in a text object. I'm going to open up the text options menus by clicking on it here and in the properties I'm going to add what I want it to say which in this case is Rhino's Playground .co.uk. Uh, if I wanted to change the font or the font weight I could do that with these two menus here but I'm not too bothered about that at the moment. I'm going to want to add an extrude nerve next Just click on that and I'm going to drag my text object into my extrude object so once the arrow goes down that means I'm dragging it into it Boom, and you'll see that my text is now 3D. Okay, what I want to do now is reduce the size of this. I'm going to go into the scale tool, just click and drag to the left, just to reduce the size a bit. There we go, I'm happy with that. Now, if I want the thickness of my text to be a bit thicker, which I will do to stop my balls from going landing on top when I drop them, I'm just going to go click on the extrude object here and I'm going to increase this property to about 30 I think. There we go. As you can see when every time I change it it gets thicker and smaller. Cool. Now I want this to be flush with the floor. So what I'm going to do is click on the rotate tool. First make sure that I've clicked on extrude because I want to choose all of these two. Click onto the rotate tool. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and I'm going to click on here. I'm going to hold down the shift key in order to rotate it in nine, uh, 10 degree increments. So holding the shift key, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, there we go. I'm gonna click on here and move it up a bit. There we go, I'm gonna move it to about there. Spot on. Great, now I'm gonna to want to add the luminance to it. So I'm gonna go into create new material here to double click on my new material, turn off reflectance, click on luminance, check that on. I'm going to change the brightness to 250 or any anything between 250 and 300. I'm going to turn the colour to a slightly bluish colour. That'll do. I'm going to close that. I'm going to drag this material onto my extrude object there. Now my text should be glowing but if I hit render settings you'll notice that it looks pretty crap. So, uh, in order to see what it looks like as we're moving along, I'm going to go into Edit render, set, render Settings. I'm going to click Effect. And I'm going to choose Global Illumination here. And these are the settings that I have. They're the defaults, and they usually work fine for me. There we go. I'm going to close this menu down now. If I hit Render View, you'll see that it looks a lot cooler now. With time. Okay, cool. So now we need to add in our spheres. So I'm going to go into my 3D objects. I'm going to choose sphere. I'm just going to move this into our view. I'm going to reduce the size of this because this is a bit big. I'm going to reduce it by about 80%. So now I'm going to go into MoGraph, Cloner. I'm going to drag my sphere object into my cloner object. I'm going to click on cloner. So I've got the cloner uh, settings here. I'm going to change the mode to grid array. I'm going to change the count to 5 by 5 by 5. And you'll see that my balls are now 5 by 5 by 5. I'm going to space them out a bit by clicking on the arrow and dragging up. And to drag down to thin them. Again, I'll go through those basics in another tutorial. And now I'm going to move these balls on top of my text. I want this to be central. Leave a little gap there. Okay. I'm just going to space them out just a little bit more. There we go. Cool. Now I want my balls to be reflective. 
So I'm going to have to go and create a new material. Double click on that. Ensure the reflectance is ticked on. Click Add Beckman. Don't need to mess with these settings here. Go into Color and change the color to black. OK. Close that down. I'm going to drag my new material onto my cloner object, which will cover all the spheres. Now all my spheres are shiny. If I hit Render here, you'll see that they work. It's starting to look pretty cool already. There's just no meaning to it. There we go. OK, now what I want to do is drop my balls onto my text. So I'm going to have to give these all animation tags. I'm going to go into my floor first and make it a rigid body. So I do that by right clicking on floor, going to simulation tags and choosing rigid body. I'm going to go to my extrude object which will cover the whole thing. Right click onto it, simulation tags. I'm going to give this a collider body. I'm going to go into my sphere object, not my cloner, because if I choose cloner then the whole thing will fall as one. If I click sphere then each individual sphere will fall. So right click on sphere, simulation tags and rigid body again. And if I press play, they'll all fall. There we go. Now what I want to do here is give myself enough time to see these balls fall into a position that works well for me. So I'm going to do that by clicking up on this arrow here and increasing the time to about 200. And I'm going to drag this arrow across to give me the time on my bar here. I press play again and see how they fall. Wait for that one to go off. Okay. So I need to fiddle them because these are in the way a bit. So go back to the beginning. Oh. And let's just move them about a bit. A few moments later. Okay, so I'm happy with that drop there. Obviously you can move them around so the balls are spaced differently. What I did in the original photo was have a batch in this section and a batch in this section so they both fell but didn't land on top of the text. Um, if I hit render view now, you'll see how that looks. There we go, sorted. So now I'm going to go into uh, render settings because I want to save this now. I'm going to go into output and change it to 1280 by 720. i um, going to ensure the global illumination is turned on. Close that down and I'm going to go to render to picture viewer. I'm going to let it render out. Okay, and to save it, oh crap. There you go, and to save it, just go, go into save, choose the format I want to save it in, and hit OK. And then it'll ask me to uh, choose where I want to save it. Obviously, choose a nice angle that you're happy with. Something like here would work a bit better. The text's a bit thick, really. But as you can see, that looks a lot cooler. And that's it. If you need a, a written explanation, written guide through this, then head to runnersplayground.co.uk. I'll put a link uh, in the description below and I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide as to how to do this. There'll be a couple more tutorials as well. And uh, the more I learn, the more I'll post. Um, other, otherwise, have a nice day. Cheers. Cheers for checking this video out. Thanks.